Hey, this is me on my plot at the High Pixel Creative server. I'm going to be flying, which means I have to put the microphone down so the audio is going to get a little funny. But I wanted to show you something I've been working on. For XB Crafted, who has a guardian temple that he's turning into a base. And he had a few little tweaks and weirdnesses he was asking for some feedback on. So I came over to High Pixel and I reproduced part of a room in his base, which you can see. And I will probably cut away and show it to you. So hang on while I cut away. Okay, as you can see, people, I'm sort of where the stairs would be. The other wall was blank. Uh, XB built a Elder Guardian, and he was having some issues with it. So I'm going to go through it uh, bit by bit and tell you what I did to change it. First of all, you will notice the eye. Watch as I go across the room how the eye follows you as you go across the room. That's a little trick I learned from watching Neuropsych videos of his um, roller coasters about indenting the eye. So let me take you through the Guardian, some of the things I did. The first thing I did was I set the eyebrow out from the eye instead of flat. He had it flat against the, um, what he called sandstone. So I set the eyebrow out. The next thing I did was I put the white stained clay back one so that the, is it andesite or diorite? So that the diorite would, oh darn I fell. So that the diorite would um, stand out and that's what gives it the effect of following you around the room. Doesn't work as well close up, but from far away it makes a big difference. Another thing that I did was I kind of tweaked the bottom because the flippers weren't showing very well. So you see here I lowered the bottom a bit. I lined the whole thing with the prismarine, the plain prismarine, not the block. And I put jack-o'-lanterns on the bottom partly for a little pop of orange and to make sure that it's illuminated enough so that it's obvious that those are flippers. I also, I think I put, oh yeah, I put, I think those were nether brick stairs. I'm not sure what he had up there. I couldn't quite tell from the video. Nether brick stairs with prismarine blocks behind. And then the prismarine, the dark prismarine brick on the sides. I don't know exactly what he had, but I tried to reproduce it as quick as well as I could. So those are some differences that I made was um, setting the, uh, the whole back of the eye is back farther than what he had it. Whoops, I hit my inventory. And um, setting the eyeball out a little bit so it looks like it's following you around the room. I made some changes in the floor too. I put the packed ice because he's going to have in the ceiling, he's going to have a contraption that Tango helped him with that's got packed ice. And I've discovered something really interesting about packed ice with slabs. About every third one underneath the packed ice, I put a prismarine lantern. I left that one there because I think that's the way he had his. I'm not sure. Packed ice doesn't look like it, like light shines through it, but it actually does a little bit. But the only way to really see it is with slabs, not with a solid block in front of it, because that'll block out the light completely. But that gives it a little bit of a lighting effect the whole way around. I think I also might have brought his water level up one block. I'm not exactly sure. This is a contraption he said cannot leave. He said the middle one probably could, but I just made it look like the um, one on the end. There's one on each end, and there's a shorter one in the middle. So I made them all sort of match. I made a frame out of glass. It doesn't work if you have solid glass because there's too many layers to see through, but what I've really done here is I've made an aquarium. It's just, now I don't think guardians can spawn in it because I believe the top water source blocks 
are too close to light and I think it's too small of a space so I don't think the guardians can spawn up there so this is not really water it's just falling water and then I made a wall of prismarine lamps and I put bushes I made basically seaweed and there should probably be more vines um, hanging down among the seaweed uh, to give it a seaweedy effect and then I planted two tall grass down at the bottom and more jack-o'-lanterns for as much illumination and like I said a tiny little pop of orange these apparently apparently this chunk hasn't been loaded while I was gone so the um, vines haven't grown but I would suggest putting a few vines around in here too the whole thing is backlit by uh, the lamps what are they called uh, sea lanterns and then I just used the dark brick around the edges I also made columns pillars to make it look like uh, of, of the dark stone to make it look like they're actually holding up the wall let me back out and then instead of he had the um this brick stuff on top circling his um item shoot I mirrored it with the dark. Um, it's hiding. Part of it is to hide the um, packed ice from Tango's sorting machine. But I thought a little bit of accent of the packed ice, plus it lights the floor really interestingly. So that's kind of what I was looking at. Now it looks kind of awkward right now because you're only looking at half of it. No, this window is not symmetrical. But imagine it mirrored on the other side of this column. Imagine it mirrored and the whole oceany effect, the whole seaweed kind of effect on the other side. Let me take you to the outside so you can see what it looks like. This is my climbing into it hole. I better fix it. Oh, I can't fix it because I've got my F1 on. Hold on. So the look I'm going for is kind of gloomy and ominous and like it's really underwater. So I wanted lots of shadow to be cast without it being dangerous and hopefully not uh, spawning anything nasty. Uh, things can be put around in here, more sea lanterns or whatever to put some more lighting on the floor. I didn't continue that. What I was doing was every third block of ice, I was putting a sea lantern under it every third block of ice sea lantern every third block of ice sea lantern that pattern could be repeated of course with these bricks here it uh, the prismarine brick it the light won't shine through like it does on the slab and it works on the slab so the slabs are up or down whether you're using them on the bottom half of the block or the top so that could be replicated or the whole dig down one put a prismarine block and put a block of i a uh, block of uh, glass on top that would work also. So I was going through a kind of going for a kind of a gloomy underwater effect that would make the room look scary without it actually spawning stuff like the Enderman that showed up during Faults's and XB's live stream today and stood on XB's bed. So that's kind of what I've got. Now I'm not going to talk anymore because I have to put the microphone down in in order to use my keyboard hand. So I'm going to just kind of slowly fly around it so XB can look at it if he wants to. I don't, I'm not saying he's going to use it, but um, he asked what we thought, so I made this video for him. Hold on, I'm going to take you on a fly through. I should point out that this wall is not important because he's going to have storage chests here. On the other side he's got his item sorter and on this side it's going to be general storage. So it doesn't really matter what this wall looks like. It's going to be pretty much just lined with chests anyway. I also didn't realize but this is supposed to be three blocks wide and I only made it. The edge is three blocks wide not two. So that's a mess up and sorry about that.
You'll notice I got the bottom flippers to extend out one more so that they actually look a lot more like flippers. And of course those should be sea lanterns on the other side of this little area here to match those right there. I only made the grass too tall where there was a jack-o'-lantern to sort of so that the orange of the jack-o'-lantern would come through the grass but not be way 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 visible any place where the leaf blocks reach the grass blocks I didn't put any grass at all or I put only single tall grass So that's pretty much it. I've got my plot set to sky, which is the end. So that's pretty much what I came up with. Maybe some lighting in the ceiling, maybe some more lighting in the floor. But that's essentially my mock-up of XB Crafted Guardian Chamber. I'll be playing on Hypixel periodically. I'm not sure what day of the week yet. I'm going to be putting on a schedule soon so that people know where I am if they want to play with me. I might also be on Cube Crafted server. I'm not sure. Uh, but so it would be false's server, false symmetry server, zombie Cleo server, Hypixel, which is a little hard. The creative server, Hypixel's creative server, it's a little hard for me to access. I get really low FPS, and maybe cube crafted, and then whatever else I do. So uh, I will be releasing a schedule soon, so that you know where I'll be and maybe be able to hang out with me. And that's my guardian temple. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye.